Welcome back, episode 24, my mini build. Still trying to get it ready for IMM this year. Um, starting to panic a little bit. I've been cleaning up a few more bits and pieces in the week. Got this uh, steering linkage. Um, that's cleaned up a bit. They're all cleaned up and painted. The rods. Uh, clean this up quite well from the inside of it. I had to chip grease off that. It was uh, nasty. Um, yeah, what else? Were, I think that's those bits have been working on. I fetched the bushes out of there and uh, all the bearings out there. Painted them up in hammerite, a couple of coats. I've done both of those. I've just got to buy some rebuild kits for them. But I'll watch Mini Tom. He's done some, I think. Got, I've got the tie rods all built up, with, all ready with new bushes on painted. Uh, I've got the lower arms with bushes fitted. I've just got to get some of the uh, bolts, lower arm bolts, but I've got a source for them. Um, and then once I've bought them top arm kits, I can start putting together the front suspension, which will be nice. Although I still need a few bits for the front brakes, but we'll see. Um, I'm not covering any of that in today's video. I've still got a bench full of rubbish that I need to clean up and get rid of, but uh, carrying on with the fiberglass front today, let me know what you think of that. Exactly the same.
Right then, the light is fading again. Um, I've got this side bolted up to there. I've ground back where I welded on the bracket on the other side that you saw me do. Um, good penetration came through, so ground that back. I've still got a grind back on the other side. I've put the bracket on that side. You saw me making the two brackets. You can see all the lumps and bumps where where the uh, where, where it's welded through. Two bolts in that side. I've put the bolt in the top just there and I've got a different bolt that side. I need to get some matchy ones. What I might do is weld some studs to a plate and then run a plate down here and put a couple of different fixings in just to spread the load on this fiberglass. Um, this top edge wasn't coming in very nicely. There's still a gap there which I'm thinking about ways I could perhaps put a bit of rubber edging trim along there or something but I've clamped that on and then warmed it up um, with a heat gun and then clamped it so I'm going to take the clamp off and see if it stays in that position it's not far off still needs to go in a bit so I'll, uh, I'll do the same again with that I'll clamp it back down and warm it up but it's not fitting fantastically well it's uh, it's not bad it'll do I've got a slight damage bit of damage there it was like that when I got the fiberglass, but I think when I fit the grill, it'll pull it back out and I can put some resin or something in there just to hold it, perhaps put something in the uh, in the back of it. I've also got to make up some mounts, you can't see because of the light, down this front edge. There's nothing on this front edge yet, just the bolts sticking out for that brace bar. So I've still got another bolt to fit in the brace bar. Make some mounts for that front end. Um, I've just got now. I've just got to do something that I've learned. It's a new thing that uh, I've been watching other people. I've been watching Keith Miller, um, and something he's quite good at is uh, tidying up. So after started after I've been working on the car, tidying up after myself, which is a new thing. So. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, small video. We're just about there with the front now. It's it's not perfect. It's far from perfect, but uh, I think a little bit more playing around with it and uh, make some brackets for that front edge, and we'll be uh, we'll be about there. I'll just find some edging trim, or perhaps put a, a little lip underneath on the scuttle, underneath those wing tops, just to just to hold that. I don't know. We'll see. But. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, it's only probably quite short on this one, but um, let me know what you think, give us a comment, I'm not very good at commenting on people's videos, I never know what to say, so drop us a comment and uh, let me know what you think, so I'm going to tidy up now, see you later.